Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TNN Raw and Uncut, where you get nothing but news delivered to you with no filter and no script by none other than Tommy Sotomayor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TNN News Raw. I'm your host, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. The woman you see on your screen, oh shit. The woman you see on your screen here, her name is Shanita Dennis. She's 26 years old. And she is accused of selling McCracky meals. That's right, she is accused of selling heroin in Happy Meals. Now, the Terminatrix has no problem with using children, your children, or anybody else's children in order to do something out of line. First off, check out the blonde streaks in her fake hair. Oh yes, check out the wry smile on her face. Just look at it. Does she look like she's guilty? Yes. Does she look like she's sorry? Hell no. Does she look like it offends her in the least of what she's done? She finds it quite amusing. Anyway, I cannot remember who sent me this story. It was sent to me a long time ago. This actually happened on the 29th of January. Shanita was an employee of a Walmart, I mean, excuse me, a McDonald's restaurant in Pittsburgh, where she was charged with selling heroin in Happy Meals. Now, they believe that this is something that a lot of the drug dealers were doing. What they would do is they would have a code word. When you would drive up to the front, you would say, I would like a toy. When you say you'd like a toy, she would then put in your order for heroin, or as the black folks would say, heroin. Customers looking for the heroin were instructed to go through the drive through and say, I'd like to order a toy, and then they would give it to them, and I guess they'd work out a pricing arrangement. Now, undercover agents set up a drug buy after they had been told of Mrs. Dennis's wrongdoing. Doings. Now, when they drove through, of course, she put the hair on, heroin in there after they said they would like a toy. They did this a few times to make sure that this code word was really working. Another McDonald's employee was arrested uh, last month for selling heroin out of the nearby Murraysville place as well. Now, for as funny as this might be, I want to talk about how serious this is. When I go through with my daughter and we do every now and again go to McDonald's, she always says she would like a toy. So if me and my daughter were in Pittsburgh and I had said I would like a toy, my daughter would have had heroin in her hands to play with. Well, of course, I guess I wouldn't have to pay more than $4.99, so that probably would have made it look weird. But the thing is, I understand having a front. I understand having a hustle. I really do, and I know people aren't gonna like me saying this, but I understand, times are hard, you gotta do what you gotta do to get by. But at certain places you don't wanna do it, you can even have, you can have a code of ethics in unethical environments and unethical um, situations. Like some things on YouTube. Some of these things that go on in YouTube, if black folks just had ethics, we wouldn't look so stupid to the rest of the world. If we said, we ain't gonna drop each other's documents because that's stupid because we having a disagreement so we want to see somebody get killed. We're not gonna run around and say we're gonna kill each other because of disagreements. That we're not gonna involve each other. You know, there's certain things we're just not going to do. But we don't have that. We have, um, it's funny thing, it's one guy's supposed to be having a show about black men in jail when all he do is run around and tell people I've been in jail. Which is it? Which is it? But the code of ethics here. So this woman is giving out heroin in Happy Meals. You don't see the conflict of interest there? And then the woman doesn't even seem bothered. And I would assume that Miss Shanita Dennis, who's 26 years old but look 46, might be a mom. Let me see if I can see anything, no? They said authorities said they found 10 bags of heroin in a Happy Meal box and recovered another 50 bags off of the suspect. Authorities have said that the heroin recovered Wednesday does not appear to be related to the fentanyl laced heroin blamed for 220, uh, excuse me, for 22 deaths over the so southwestern Pennsylvania. And for those who don't know, it's possibly blamed in the death of Philip Seymour Hoffman. 
Now, someone called the show the other day and talked about how addictive heroin is. It's no joke here. And I want to understand at what point do we as black get away from the drug culture? It hasn't made us rich. I would understand if it made us rich and then we could turn it into something else, but it hasn't. The rap game has done more than the dope game for black folks. Why is it that we're including our children? Why is it that the mothers are doing it? This ain't an episode of Weeds. I don't know what to say. I want to say some funny stuff, but I'm actually sad. And halfway through reading this, I'm sad. Because whatever felt made this woman feel forced to do this, and whatever made the people feel like this was the best way to go about selling it. It, it has to be one of the, the, the most idiotic ways to think of selling something. Let's do it for McDonald's, as if no one will figure it out. Thomas Sotomayor, this is TNN News, Raw. Fucking believable. 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 Fucking believable.